there guys, welcome back and uh, happy new year. <laughs> this will be the first video of the year and uh, for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and review the, uh, well, one of the newest uh, Takara Tomy products is a random booster, uh, volume I believe 23. And uh, this is for Hollow Dead Side. And as you notice, what, I, what I'm presenting here is the alternate color or the second prize bay for the Hollow Dead Side. The reason behind this is because out of practicality, and let's just say that random booster sets are really expensive, to be honest. And it's not practical for you, or let's just say, in my opinion, for, for me to buy the, uh, the whole set because for me, based on my first impression reviews, the only uh, viable part for the meta, if you're going to be do, uh, using this in tournaments, are the uh, layer itself, the hollow layer, and of course the identity chip, that side, for flavor, and also the uh, newest uh, part, one of the newest parts here, the E4 chassis. Now, a lot of people consider this as one of the mo one of one of the uh, most unbalanced base layer ever created uh, I've been doing test battles on my own for this one to record it because it's not worth worth recording and this one jumps around the stadium really aggressively because it's so unbalanced as uh, well gonna go you know get review get to review this later on and uh, Let's go ahead and set it up for review, guys. Alright, so let's go and review each part that is unique in the set. Uh, I didn't include the uh, high axle dash for this one because I believe, in my opinion, axle is not really a, a good part, to be honest. it's It will always be outclassed by... Uh, other uh, meta parts for drivers such as ultimate reboot dash, uh, destroy dash, a quick and extreme dash. For if we're considering attack layers, I would even prefer volcanic dash uh, against that because uh, I don't really see the point of uh, having a high driver uh, on attack attack uh, drivers or high mo mode for attack drivers. I believe high drivers are better suited for defense, but that's just my opinion. Just leave a like if you object on that opinion and I'm willing to, you know, discuss uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, things that needs to be considered if you want. So, uh, okay, let's start. Now let's start with the uh, core chip here. Core chip here is just a normal core chip, plastic with the uh, design, a really good design. Of, uh, of Dead Cider here. Uh, I kind of like color scheme, but I believe the black one is better. So this is just a normal core chip, and we'll just replace that with other metal core chips for tournaments for uh, added weight. And uh, let's move on to this one, the attack layer. As you know, you can notice here that it's again, it's not the uh, the prize bay. Again, I will uh, I will stand in. I will stand in my point that the reason why I, uh, you know, got only the uh, second prize base because out of practicality, uh, the Beyblades, or let's just say most of the parts, are really not that, you know, uh, I believe it won't work in the meta. The only parts that, you know, you can actually use, in my opinion, is the layer most important one and also the uh, A4 uh, single chassis so okay as you will notice it's actually one of the uh, one of the only bays besides or layers besides uh, Diabolos or I'm sorry not Diabolos <laughs> the rage layer that has metal on it it has a really big metal chunk here at its site here on the right part and as you can see there are bolts here reason for that one is because it also has metal on the bottom so even though it has both me metals on both sides it's still unbalanced because the weight distribution is so so not balanced that it has a bigger chunk of metal here on the right side compared to the left side and it's on top and this is on bottom so uh, 
to compensate for this and also to add new modes, they created a new single chassis for the Beyblade. That is the A4 chassis. You'll notice it's on the on the right side of the chassis. It's thicker here compared to the left side. Again, this is an unbalanced part, and the reason why they created it like this is because they wanted to give that cider a second mode. So if we're gonna go ahead and put it on the normal mode here, all the weights here will go to the right side, so it will be an un so the baby will be so unbalanced that it will jump continuously in the, in the stadium, even though if you don't if you, you don't really need to <laughs> to equip the uh, operate driver for that one. <laughs> if you know guys, if you're familiar with operate driver, it's one of the unbalanced attack mode Beyblades uh, driver. And if you put it on the other mode, switch like this, the weight shifts on the other side. So uh, by theory, it you know adds weight on the other side and it makes it balance per se. So there you go. Okay. All right. Now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and review also some other parts that I got from the uh, the uh, Booster Volume 23, which is the high drivers. Now, this one is actually well, I forgot what this is called, but uh, when I actually try to use it, they consider this an, an attack driver, so I I don't think it's viable. So let's you know not review this. Right now, this is this th these guys caught my interest. The defense one, and I believe this is a spiral one. Spiral driver, not really sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it out later on. Uh, this one I believe is actually a stamina driver because of the tip, and it's actually I believe one of the highest drivers that I've actually uh, you know used. This is of course an old driver, defense driver. Not really good for stamina battles, but it has a really uh, good uh, knockout, uh, anti-knockout recoil potential because of the ring outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my preferred combo for the Dead Sider, so that I can, you know, at least showcase how it works, and probably this is the combo that I'm gonna be using on tournaments if I'm gonna use the layer okay so let's go ahead and get those combos for you so we can check it out all right so let's begin uh, reviewing the uh, parts that I consider or let's just say consider using it to or combo to using it to before we start I would like to uh, uh, to do a uh, to give a shout out to uh, Sir Fender Jazz. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for uh, you know for everything and also doing free shout outs, especially for the channel. Really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe to his videos. To really to really, to really something. So okay, let's start. So again, I, I was talking about this uh, be able to be unbalanced. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just say cure that unbalanced uh, and the unbalanced uh, mode on this Beyblade and the way to cure it is to add more weight so the weight will pull it down more and make it more stable for that one I'm gonna go ahead and add a Lucifer 2 chip for this one reason behind that is because Lucifer chip has a very good weight on it one of the heaviest core chips ever I, uh, I'm not really sure if uh, let's just say this is one of the heaviest so and also it gives out the flavor <laughs> lucifer that side really nice and color color scheme really looks good there you go okay looks good right really nice okay let's put in the chassis for the chassis choices i've actually considered some uh i've actually considered putting in uh, one of the heaviest, which is the uh, the S2. Uh, but I've actually, you know, thought that why not give it more attack? Because the layer is so unbalanced, we can actually add some protrusions on it. So I've decided to put in 2A. And let me show you the reason why. Let us assemble it. As you can see, 
some of the rubber part of the two way shows on the other side and it adds some here on the uh, the lighter part of the weight on the right side here so if we're gonna go ahead and change the mode to the other way around it gives more a surface area for the rubber part here and the rubber part on the other side on the left on the right side will start on the very thickest part of the bay blade so there you go and for the attack uh, attack drivers I've actually considered uh, two of them because uh, plastic tip drivers really adds the uh, you know the instability of the Beyblade when it spins because this layer spins like crazy because it's so unbalanced so I have two choices here one is the Unite Dash semi rubber or a mix of rubber and plastic tip and the other one is a quick dash now I would to be honest I would prefer uh, extreme dash but I don't have that part yet in my collection so I just have to do uh, re again reason behind the rubber tip is because it adds stability to the Beyblade when it spins because this really spins like crazy you'll see later on now I think I'm gonna be using Unite Dash because uh, it has more stamina compared to uh, a quick dash because it's pure rubber so let's assemble it there you go all right so here we go hollow lucifer 2a unite dash <laughs> let's go ahead and do a test battle battle for this one all right so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, stock combos for uh, three battles, stock combos, best of uh, best of three matches, and uh, we'll see how it performs. See you in the battle, guys. <laughs> Okay, now that is put out of the way, I would say, in all honesty, I don't think that this part 
can be a meta part, alright? Not unless somebody discovers a very, very, very stable and good combo for this. Now, I say this with the fact that I personally uh, tested it. Unfortunately, I don't have the capability to test it yet with in, let's just say, a real battle with somebody because I don't have anyone else here at home that plays Beyblade and wants to practice, so probably I'm gonna go ahead and create more reviews with regards about this uh, very interesting uh, layer or attack layer, Hollow Dead Center. Uh, maybe someday I'm gonna go ahead and create a more detailed review about this one and uh, well, if the time comes, then let's see. Hope to see you guys on the next video and thank you so much for you know supporting my channel and leave a like subscribe and leave a comment as well and i'm just gonna see you guys in the next video guys ciao